Welcome to Pace Studios. We're here with the Wild Reads. They've come to us from L.A., that's right, and uh, they got a few songs to play for us. Would you tell us about the first one you're going to play? Sure. Um, this first one's called Only Songs, and it was the first single that we released off this record, and uh, it's about how playing music with your friends is better than everything else. <laughs> awesome. Whenever you're ready. All right. One, two, three.
That sounded great. Thanks. Well, I understand that you had uh, your sophomore album come out last month. So congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. And uh, I'm sure you've talked about this a lot just in the last, you know, the lead up to the album's release. But um, can you can you tell us like, just like kind of what the experience was like um, you know, writing a follow up to your debut and uh, why you decided to go with the title uh, The World We Built? Sure. I mean, we can tag team that. I'll just start with why we chose the title. Um, it's actually a love song on the record, but the the title is sort of has a different meaning to us. I think it's has a lot to do with the family that we've created on the road and how strange it is to be out in the world and be with the same five people every day. And so it's sort of like the world that we've built among us, but then also the last three years touring really heavily. Uh, we just, I don't know, I think all of our, our worldviews completely changed and we've seen a lot for better or for worse. So yeah, it's sort of like a our own personal world and then the world that we exist in as a touring band, I guess. Cool. Well, um, we've got another one to play us. Will you tell us about it? Yeah, uh, this next one is called Patience, and it's actually like a follow-up <clears throat> to a song that was on our EP called What I Had in Mind. This is kind of like part two. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Thanks. That sounded great. Um, and one of your fathers thinks so too. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Rich, Rich D. Silva. Oh yeah. Richard D. Silva. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> yeah, he's got a nice comment on here. That's awesome. I'm a proud father of one of the girls. Their passion and dedication is beyond amazing. It really is about the music. Shout out to oh, my dad. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, well, you know, I was kind of looking at one of your interviews, and th- you guys are talking about a bit how it's like some people express surprise that you're from L.A. and you sing Americana music. How did you collectively decide to focus on that as a genre? Did you all just have the special connection to it or, you know, like an individual drive to create that, that style? Or what was it that kind of drew you the most to that, that genre? I think it was just kind of the, the right time for Americana when we started the band. Um, and we've since like kind of evolved in and around that. Um, I think that harmony is the biggest thing that draws me to Americana as a genre. Um, when I got into it, I was listening to like a lot of the Ava Brothers and stuff like that. And I was like, wow, it can be like this simple folk song, but have so much heart. And I think um, we've just always wanted our music to have a lot of heart. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of it. That's like the basis and how we can play like, you know, more stripped down versions as well so yeah cool well looks like the mic the mic is back yeah yeah oh no Facebook. <laughs> well you've got one more for us would you tell us a little about it while we're like, sure. working this last part out it's mic? our um it's the last track on the record it's called fruition but i like to Think of it as lazy man's lullaby. It's kind of about procrastinating and then yeah. a, giving a pep talk to yourself. It's also kind of like a lullaby turned into like a panic attack turned into a lullaby. So I don't know. You can just make of it what you want. <laughs> Bye. 
choices we make You can't expect to make a mistake I am not looking for lasting happiness For if it was there all the time, dear Well then this world would be good Me trying to make more minutes. If I could figure out how to stretch it, there'd be time for all. That was great. Thanks. Um, also, before we let you go, can you tell us where we can catch you live again soon? Yeah, tonight we're playing at the Mercury Lounge in New York City, and we are on our way on a big loop around the country. We'll be hitting uh, Chicago soon. We're going up to Vancouver, and then we're coming back down the West Coast. We're going all over the place. Great. Um, thank you guys so much again for coming here and playing for us. It's the Wild Reads. We had a great time with you. Thank you. Thank Thanks you for so having much. us.